ask uh, Rob Ronder our poll question for the for the day that we've been asking on our app, Apple App Store and Google Play, and the link at the top of our Twitter handle at Rich Eisen Show. Okay, guys, uh, what's your favorite Rob Reiner movie? Uh, Spinal Tap, Stand By Me, The Princess Bride, When Harry Met Sally, A Few Good Men. Which one would you choose? Those are the choices you no, have. Those yes. are the now, choices. Now, have you been p- polling people already? You, you want to give we them? have. So, The Princess Bride is currently at 38%. Right. Late surge by a few good men to right. 31%. Right. Stand by me, 15. Spinal Tap, 9. When Harry Met Sally, 8. Okay, interesting. Well, you know, like, like uh, you love all your children. Of course. So no matter what they are, you love them equally. That's not true. <laughs> it isn't true. Why? Do you ch- have children? He that is not. He's, no, you don't have any exactly. children? No, but I'll tell you what. I have, like, uh, baseball gloves and shoes, and, like, I have favorite pairs of those. Why wouldn't it be the same for kids? Well, you maybe, make a, maybe you one make of a your great kid, point. Maybe one of your kids is a giant screw-up, yeah. and you don't like him as much as yeah. the one that's most successful. Well, you make a great point. I mean, it shows a, a real understanding of the human a condition. That's my role on this uh, show. He's hollow inside. That's yeah, my role yeah, here. Yeah. So, uh, well, uh, for me, and it's not necessarily what I think is the best of all the films, but for me, the one that means the most is Stand by Me, because it was the first time I made a movie that I felt reflected my personality, my sensibility. So, what was what what was that about? That well, movie? it's a mixture of uh, there's humor mm-hmm. and there's some melancholy to it. And uh, it was, uh, I was 12 years old in 1959, which is when we set it. And so I have a, a feeling and a connection to, to it and what the little boy uh, Gordy is going through mm-hmm. in the film. Did you have, uh, was Stephen King involved in very much? He wasn't involved, although I got to say one of the great experiences I ever had was first showing the film to him. And we showed it to him privately. I was there and uh, two of the three of the other producers, we were all there. And I was so nervous because he's watching this film. Mm-hmm. And I knew it was a personal story for him because he actually uh, lived that. I mean, he went with his three buddies to, f- to see this dead body. And actually, three the three buddies that he was with, they all passed away in the book. And that's what happens in the book. And in real life, in the film, we only had the one die because I didn't feel it was believable to have everybody die. Anyway, we watched, he watches the film and we finished. And then he says, I just want to think about this for a little bit i'm gonna i'll come back in about 15 minutes huh. i'm thinking oh god oh god i hope he likes this he comes back and he says well i just have to tell you this is the best adaptation of anything i've ever huh. written he says that's not saying much but no he made a joke but he said this i love this film so much and he said and in the book it's uh chris chris picks up the gun to to uh, fend off the older boys and we had Gordy do it. And he says, when you had Gordy pick up that gun, I, saw, I thought, why didn't I think of that? No kidding. Yeah. And so that was the coolest. And then we got to make seven other, six or seven other Stephen King movies because he then would give us, we optioned his books for a dollar. He said, you know, I trust that you'll be able to, you know, do so okay. So which one are you most proud of on that? Misery? Or the, or well, Misery, we did uh, uh, Shawshank Redemption, oh, which to me was... How did that uh, not get on? Well, I didn't... I, our he company didn't produced it. Oh, I didn't. I, I didn't direct it. Wasn't it. A I didn't Rob direct it. directed film. No, but our company produced right. it. And we did Dolores Claiborne and Needful Things. But it, oh, the point is we had a good relationship Lord. with Stephen yeah, King. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And, I mean, for him to say that, I mean, The Shining yeah. was out. Carrie had been out yeah. at that point. Yeah, that was, it was really, really cool. For more Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Rich Eisen Show app.